Hey, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to take a look at the series, The Winx Club. Today's video was requested by Nazish. Now, let's get to it. Road intro. Winx was created by Italian animator Eugenio Straffi in his animation studio, Rainbow. Straffi came up with the idea for Winx after noticing that there weren't many action cartoons aimed towards younger girls and wanted to create a show they would enjoy. Straffi was also inspired by his love of fairy tales, fantasy, and magic and wanted to develop a pilot in a magical setting that senses around conflict between two rival schools, one for fairies and the other for witches. He based his rivalry off of the Oxford and Cambridge rivalry, which are well-known rival colleges in the UK. Yeah, I know, ill British people. That's disgusting! Straffi created a pilot called Magic Bloom, which featured the original five Winx members, but he drew them as traditional European fairies. The pilot episode was screen tested in front of an audience, and Straffi found out that they did not like the medieval look. After receiving audience feedback on the character designs, he got help from fashion designers to help redesign the characters and gave them a brighter and more modern appearance. Straffi even changed the name from Magic Bloom to Winx, which is a name derived from the English word wings. This Saturday morning on the Fox Box, step into a world unlike any you've ever seen before, where witches, we're gonna take over the whole realm of magic. Warriors! And the Winx Club! Battle to save the world! Don't miss the series premiere of The Winx Club, this Saturday morning on the Fox Box. The Winch Club premiered on January 28, 2004 and quickly became one of the most popular television shows on Italian television. A couple of months later, Winch would premiere on the Fox Box, later renamed 4Kids TV, for three seasons, where it was slightly censored. And we all know how 4Kids deal with censorship. These donuts are great! Jelly filled are my favorite! Nothing beats a jelly filled donut! What the fuck are you talking about, man? Despite this, the show still remained popular and fans enjoyed watching the adventures of the Winx girls. The series follows the adventures of a group of teenage girls who attend Althea, a magical school for fairies. The Winx Club consists of Bloom, Stella, Aisha, voiced by Liza Jacqueline, Kareem Manuel, Vasti Monpoint, Musa Tecna, voiced by Lisa Ortiz, Rebecca Soiler, and Flora, voiced by Carrie Williams. <coughs> Best girl. Each girl has a unique set of powers and quirky personality. Bloom is the main character of the series and discovers that she has magical powers. Throughout the series, the Winx face many challenges and battles as they try to balance their studies at Althea. The show is known for its vibrant color and animation, as well as its catchy theme song and imagine the world building. Each episode features a new adventure or challenge the girls have to overcome as they explore new realms and encounter different magical creatures and villains. If I had to describe Winx for people who haven't seen the show before, it's like a combination of Sailor Moon or any sort of magical girl series you've seen before with Harry Potter if that makes sense. One of the central things of the Winx Club is the power of friendship and teamwork. The Winx rely on each other, unique strengths and talents to overcome obstacles. They also learn valuable lessons like responsibility, trust, and loyalty as they try to uphold the values of the magical world they inhabit. When riding Winx, Straffi explained that he uses his experience as a father by observing the way his daughter and her friends interact with each other in order to make the characters feel relatable to the audience. He also asked his daughter and her friends what kind of stories they would be interested in when creating the show. Straffi collaborated with a team of writers and artists to help develop the characters, settings, and storyline. Winx had a revival series that premiered on Nickelodeon on June 27, 2011, a spin-off series titled The World of Winx on Netflix that premiered on November 4, 2016, three movies, a miniseries called Pop Pixie. There was also a Netflix live action series, but let's not talk about that. The healthiest thing we can do is just ignore this and pretend it doesn't exist. Uh, earthquake. Yeah, yeah, truck going by. The series had a bunch of merch from toys to comic books, and even had video games from PC, PS2, DS, 
in Game Boy Advance. We are the wings, we are the wings, we are the wings. We are the wings. We are the wings. Wings originally aired on 4Kids, but 4Kids lost the rights after failing to renew their contract with Rainbow. A few years later, Wings will receive a revival on the Nickelodeon network with a whole new voice cast. Bloom is now voiced by Molly Quinn. Stella, Musa, Tecna were voiced by Amy Gross, Romy Dames, Morgan Decker, and Flora and Aisha were voiced by Alejandro Reynoso and Kiki Palmer, still best girl. The Wings Club revival ended after the eighth season, and at the time of this recording, Nickelodeon doesn't have the rights to the animated series, but Nickelodeon, specifically Viacom, is still on the rights to the spin-off series like Pop Pixie and the Wings Club live action series. The exact reason why Nickelodeon never made another season is unclear. Maybe Nickelodeon wants to produce more original content rather than continuing to make another season of Winx. But there's some good news for Winx fans out there. After the cancellation of Winx Saga, Strafi wrote on Instagram that Winx is getting a new CGI reboot series, and he seems to be very much involved in this reboot. He also says that he wants to make a high-budget Winx movie eventually, so it looks like Winx is a going anywhere anytime soon. At the time of this recording, Molly Quinn, the voice of Bloom, is playing the character Ashley in the Rocky series. Amy Gross, the voice of Stella, is lending her voice in the Mass Effect video game series. Hiromi Dames, the voice of Musa, is in the series Hamster and Gretel. Kiki Palmer, the voice of Aisha, has starred in the movie Nope. Morgan Decker, the voice of Tecna, hasn't done the work in the industry for a while. Alejandro Reynoso, the voice of Flora, is voicing the character Sarah in the video game Redemption Reaper. Looks like you made it to the end of the video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. Or if you thought this video was shit, make sure you hit the dislike button. Also, if you enjoyed the What Happened series, I have a playlist of all the current videos I made so far. You might want to add the playlist to your YouTube library because sometimes my videos don't show up on the homepage. I'm Tsunami. Thanks for watching.